Hi everybody, Ted Jordan here with another installment of professional acting for the long haul. Now we've been talking about relocation, when you should do it and all that kind of lovely stuff. Now today we're going to talk a little bit about the Harvey Weinstein situation also. I don't know the man personally, but it needs to be addressed. So we're going to get into more of the relocation first and then that. Now, if you want to go to New York, LA, or Chicago, if you want to relocate to those places, again, if you've not been there before, by all means, check them out first. Had a young lady come up to me in church and, you know, talk about wanting to relocate, and she's looking to do it probably in the next six months or so. She's had some training uh, through a company I've never heard of before. It doesn't make it illegitimate, but I've not heard of them. So, um, again, that was a red flag to me. However, uh, she's got a plan in place and she's looking to move to Atlanta, which is great. She's got a friend there and she's looking to probably spend um, time there, but she's not been to Atlanta. So what did I tell her? I told her to go check it out first to make sure it's something that she wants to do and where she would like to live. Now, if you're looking at LA, New York, or Chicago, now if you're looking for that, that's great. Now, what you need to do if you've not gone is to go ahead and go and check it out for a week or two if you can hang out there. If you've got friends or family, that's fantastic. That'll work out just fine. Go ahead and do that. If you don't, see if you can take some vacation time, hang out there for a week or so, get a lay of the land, check everything out, and talk to some people again, friends on Facebook who can give you some insight into that particular market for those folks who actually live there so you know exactly how to do and what to do with that. So go ahead and do that and check it out for a week if you can do that. So New York, LA, or Chicago are forced labor states. That means if you wanna do television, if you wanna do film, then eventually you're gonna to have to join the union in order to do that. I know a young man um, who was on, I think, Empire, and he's from St. Louis. He's doing quite well for himself. Um, and he had to join a union, so now he can no longer do non-union work. Now, I ran across a young lady the other day who was doing some non-union work, because I do non-union work a lot, but she wasn't supposed to be there, and if the union catches her, then that means she'd be in a lot of trouble if not being kicked out of the union altogether, or very heavy sanctions. I'm not sure exactly what the penalty for that is, but it's not good. So again, you have to have integrity with this thing and you have to have character. If you're gonna join the union, then you have to follow their mandates, their rules and their regulations, and that's what you need to do. People love people of integrity, of character, okay? And they will want to work with you continuously over and over again. Again, if you're looking to go to LA, New York or Chicago, eventually you will have to join the union if you wanna do feature film or television roles in those cities. Okay? Now, if you want to stay non-union and still get the benefits of being uh, in the union, right to work states are a way to go. Again, this is your business. You are your business. You're an independent contractor. I ran across, again, some actors who didn't even realize that they didn't have to join the union in the right to work states. It's amazing how people don't know their rights. They don't know their options, but that's why we have the videos. So you guys do know these things. I don't pretend to know everything, but in 34 years, I know a lot. Again, this business is so vast and so ever changing that, you know, I don't know everything. So I try to keep up with as much as I possibly can in order for people to be able to know, okay? Because I want to know and I wanna give you the proper information. But as always, do your research, go out on your own and find out the information for yourself so you know, not just through my revelation, but you have a revelation for yourself, that way you own it, and now it's yours to keep for a lifetime, okay? Now let's move on to the Harvey Weinstein thing. Again, I don't know the guy, I've done some work for the Weinstein Corporation uh, years ago on the uh, film Hurricane Season starring Forrest Whitaker. I was a stand-in there. Um, great company, had no trouble, again, with the union or with that company. But it's tragic to hear when other people try to take advantage of other people. This business is already hard enough. We don't need those kind of people in our industry, but they're there. So what do you need to do to safeguard yourself? At that high of a level, to have a person who is continually in that position, which he's no longer in that position of being president or CEO, whatever it was, he's no longer there, 
but these people knew on the board that he had settled these suits. So I don't want to get deep into that, but people know. And then people come out and say, oh, I didn't know, but you've, you know, you've been dealing with the man for so long, for decades, but you didn't know or you didn't hear. Someone of credibility never told you about them. But if it's happening at that level, don't you think it's happening at the uh, level in a St. Louis market or in Iowa or Louisiana or any other markets around the nation? Yeah, you have to be situationally aware of what's going on around you. And it could be men or women taking advantage of. It could be men or women who are predatory and try to take advantage of people in a lower position. So guys, we also have to be aware of what's going on around us and be careful. Don't meet a woman that's not your wife or whoever in a hotel room by yourself. Ladies, same thing, don't do it. You need to find out where this audition is taking place. If you feel uh, uncomfortable, maybe you should go ahead and take someone with you. I know a young lady who did that very thing. The guy who was, she was supposed to be auditioning for didn't want her dad in the room with her. Now that's a red flag and you should just walk away and not try to talk to the person because you want the opportunity so bad. Here's why people don't talk when situations like the Harvey Weinstein thing go down. Most are afraid of loss. They're afraid of loss because Hollywood has demonstrated that when you blow the whistle there, when bad things happen and you speak out publicly about it, you lose work. And it's historical. It's a historical fact that does happen because people have tried to speak out or spoken out um, before, not about just about Harvey Weinstein, but about other people who've gotten away with these very things. So you need to be careful, you need to be aware of what's going on in your situation and don't ever be afraid to walk away from opportunity if it's uncomfortable for you. I hope this is helpful to you. I hope you can get something out of these videos. If you do, go ahead and contact us at, um, what is it again? I keep forgetting this thing all the time. Professional Acting for the Long Haul at yahoo.com. You can email us there or you can check us out on our YouTube channel, Crossing Jordan Entertainment. Okay, have a great day, be safe, be smart, do your research, and we'll talk to you soon.